Effect. It's the National Football League presented by EA Sports. The scene from a few moments ago, this crowd enthusiastically cheering on their Texans as they emerge from the locker room. And we're just about ready for football as the Texans get set to match up with the Tennessee Titans. Out comes a Houston offense as they get set to take over here. First carry now. This is Johnson. And he's upended after a gain of two out to the 27. The ball carrier. Yeah, that wasn't a big run, just a short one there. But guess what? Sometimes you treat it like boxing. You throw that jab out there and you throw it again, you throw it again, then you come with a big punch later. Maybe they're just trying to set them up. They'll break the huddle, come up on second and eight at the 27 yard line. Out of the gun, Watson. Forced out to his left. He's going to take off with it, and he'll be brought down right at the 30 here. He'll wind up with positive yardage. It's a gain of three, but now it's third down. It's a gain of three. Now third and five. From the gun, here's Watson. And that's going to be incomplete. The coverage, too good there. The contact popped the ball free, and it's fourth down. That's an excellent job right there on third down. Like any defense, you never want to let them get anything started, and that would have been a first down. Instead, you saw the contact on time, no penalty, and before this drive could get wings, it's fourth down. Anger is on to punt, and he gets this one away. Khalif Raymond on the return. Here comes Tennessee as they get set to take the field. At their own 24-yard line. First and 10, and kind of tipping their hand at running the ball. Three tight ends are out there. Now a first carry for Derrick Henry. And nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play there. Second down. All right, quick observation, Brandon, because early on in this game, I'm seeing linebackers play up their noses close to the line of scrimmage. And my guess is the wheels are turning on that other sideline. As a play car, you're filing that away right now, aren't you? Yeah, you're trying to find that opportunity later on when you can play action them or stick something to them between the second and the third level. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. 12 yards there and a first down. First down. We often talk about understanding the playbook, understanding progressions, and understanding what the defense is doing. We saw all of that on that play. Great recognition and understood where his running back was going to be. Found a way to have him leak out underneath, hit him with the football, and they picked up the first down. Looks like he's going to get a couple here on this first down carry, and that'll make it second and eight. But Derrick Henry, you may remember last year against Houston in the season finale, 211 yards rushing, one of only two 200-yard games in the NFL last year. And not only that, but that game won in the rushing title because Nick Chubb was the leader, but he struggled in the final week against the Bengals. And then up from behind came Henry. Tannehill throwing complete to Davis. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. 12 yards there and a first down. First down, tight. It's a nice completion, a little bit of run after catch as well to grade the yardage that they got. But it is so tough to cover that route, the drag route, because they run it at varying speeds. Because the key is to create hesitancy on the defender's part. Always so empathetic for those DBs, aren't you? Henry on first down, not finding much running room as he pushes forward for a yard or two at most. We've called a lot of games, but we don't normally talk about inside linebackers being that fleet of foot, do we? No, he was able to get outside there to make that play. Yeah, and you know what makes them faster? Their ability to read plays, understand what offenses are trying to do, and put themselves in proper position. Throwing on second and eight. Tannehill out to the right to Humphreys. 
Ten Only eight. three yards on the catch. It's third down. A three-yard gain on the play brings up third down. the gun. Here's Tannehill. Well, it's caught on the right side at Smith. And he will have a Titans first down. He needed five. He got it barely as it will officially go down as a gain of five yards. Nice job keeping that opening drive alive. And they're in plus territory, that part of the field where you really want to convert on third down. They did. Big time pickup for them. And now I think the aggressive play callers think to themselves, this part of the field, I take my shot at the end zone. Because the closer you get to the end zone, the field can, gets condensed. Makes it a lot tougher to run those routes. You still got a chance to actually run past people right now. Take your shot at the end zone early in the down and distance count. Okay, I'm not so great at math, but I just looked over at our statistician, Marvin, and he signaled to me five for five to get things started here on this opening drive. Where I come from, that's pretty good. That is pretty good. Now, what do you do defensively to adjust? Well, this is where you've got to make a decision as your defensive as a defensive coordinator. Do you really get after the quarterback? Or maybe you tighten down on the receivers, bump them off of their routes, chip away at their timing so things aren't as precise as they've been so far in this game. Line of scrimmage, the 15. It's first and 10. Derrick Henry. And able to surge forward for about five yards down to the 10. He was taken That's a strong pickup right there on first down. And as this drive goes on, we're seeing an offensive line and running game imposing its will. The first down run got five. Here's second and five. Tannehill going to turn and give this to Henry. And he'll be brought down this time at the five-yard line. They got five through the air last play. Now five on the ground. First and ten. Nice carry there by Derrick Henry. Picks up a first down. And when you say workhorse, you're thinking about Derrick Henry. Won the rushing title in 2019 for 1,540 yards on the ground and 16 rushing touchdowns. Went to his first Pro Bowl and carried his team to the AFC Championship game. That is caught at the seven-yard line. Not able to go anywhere that time. Second down. That's a nice job defensively to make sure everyone was accounted for because ordinarily, you pick up the guys downfield and sometimes you forget about the running back. In this case, they did not and dropped him for no gain. On second down, here's Henry. And the hole closes quickly here. He can fight only to about the four. The second down play, not much better than the first. Just a gain of one there. Defensively, I think they can smell a stop. Ball right around the five here brings up third. And I think what they've done is they put doubt in the minds of the offensive guys. What do we do? Because now you don't have a go-to play. Either side they pick, throwing it, running it. Open man is Davis. He's got it for the Tennessee touchdown. Complete to number 84. Four yards on the touchdown grab. And the Titans have taken a first quarter lead. Both sides of the football in sync early. You force the three and out, and then you take it down, score points. You know what that tells me? They sold their game plan really well. Head coach said, listen, we're just going to stop them on three and out. We're going to take the ball downfield and score. But he also told them how it was going to happen. They're going to run this. We're going to stuff it. And we're going to take the ball. They won't be able to keep up with us. And they got it done.
Steven Goskowski now after the touchdown. He'll send this one away. Now this will make it into the end zone. And no effort to bring this one out. It's a touchback. So now we get set to see Houston for their second drive of the ball game. And the last drive, the first drive for them, not very good. Three and out. What do they go to here? Well, you don't look down at your play sheet and say, this is what the problem is. And let's find out who my playmakers are. Get the ball in their hands, and maybe the offense will move a little bit Sometimes better. Sometimes it's more important to get it to the right people rather than dialing up the right number. Exactly. Or the, the right play, yeah. That too. <laughs> and they're able to get this one across the 35. A quick first down pickup. Good start after going three and out on their opening drive. Nice little nifty play for him there. Yeah, that's the ability to read a defense and utilize players that don't often get picked up in coverage easily. And I'm talking about being able to use the backs out of the backfield. Because I know that when I used to cover, Hey, we got everybody cut. Oh, he just snuck out there, and they just got a nice first down there. What do we love to say? Get those backs into space, right? And they were able to do that there. Nice pickup on first down. He's brought down. Give him three on first down. It'll set up a second and seven. Brings up second and seven. A shotgun snap for Watson. To the right side, it's caught by Mitchell. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Titans' 45-yard line. That one good for 16, and the drive will continue. So operating from Tennessee territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 45-yard line. Watson going to pull back the handoff and keep it himself. He's got the first down here inside the 30. And finally marked down at the 23. An excellent run of 22 yards on the keeper and also a first down. And this, I mean, it's certainly something to watch out for. He is not afraid to call his own number on plays like that. And here he takes it for good yardage. And we know this defense prepared all week for this, but sometimes when you see it in person, it's a whole different ball game. And all that preparation, it goes right out the window. And they're going to stop him right at the line of scrimmage. Just no cutback lane to be found whatsoever. Second and ten. Second. Looked like he was trying to bounce it outside, but no success. Yeah, sometimes you got to just figure out where you're going to go, and sometimes you just have to take it to another spot. And trying to get it outside, the defensive pursuit was there and just ran him down. That is caught at the seven. And he's in. Touchdown, Houston. It's Deshaun Watson with a touchdown pass to Brandon Cooks. And the Texans are an extra point away from tying this football game. All drives that result in points hurt a defense. But when they are the sustained variety, play after play, and they just can't get off the field and stop them, that can be demoralizing. And this one through the uprights and good. That ties the game at seven. So all even at seven now as they kick it away. Here's Khalif Raymond to return. And out a little across the 25 to the 27. The Titans coming back onto the field for their second drive. And they will simply, Charles, be looking to duplicate what they did last drive when they were able to push it in for six. And they hope it'll be that easy, right, to be able to take exactly what happened before, replicate it. They may have to make a few additional changes along the way because I'm sure the defense will make some adjustments, but they've got to have great confidence having scored the last time out. The carry here for the big tight end. And he's going to be met at the line of scrimmage and taken down. No gain on the play. It'll be second down. The play brings up second and 10 at the 28-yard line. Thank <laughs> you. 
Throwing on second down. Tannehill. He'll get this one complete to Davis. And down he goes, but he takes it up to the 40. 12 yards there and a first down. Gain of 12. First down, Titans. First down carry for Henry. Three yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. The ball carrier taken down at the 43-yard line. A three-yard pickup brings up second and seven. Let's go. Now it's Tannehill. But when this ball's tipped and intercepted, he's picked off near his own 48. And he is not quite going to make it all the way in. They'll mark him down right about the one-yard line. These two teams all tied after one. Suddenly, it's first and goal after the interception. A quick change in the situation here. They'll run it with Johnson. And he's in for the score. Touchdown, Texans. Taking it in from a yard out. And the Texans have taken the lead. That almost looked too easy, and I think thanks goes to the offensive line for making it look easy. Yeah, I agree with you totally on that one. I'm not sure how much everyone understands the preparations that go into a game for an offensive line because there's a reason that running backs and quarterbacks give them big gifts at the end of the season after a big year. The consistency and the continuity it takes to know each other and execute their blocks is pretty impressive. carries into the end zone and it'll come out to the 25 as Raymond will elect not to bring it out here's Tennessee ready to begin this drive offensively a tale of two extremes already in this game a touchdown pass on their opening drive followed by an interception last time out now it sounds like things balance out right what's that that mythological thing that we do if you have a candy bar have a diet soda with it it balances it out and we know that's not really true right because the interception that sting lingers a little bit longer. Got to come out now and put together some nice plays. And this is going to be a Titans first down as he's got this past the 35 to about the 37. Nice way to start the drive. A gain of 12 and a first down. And this winds up a pickup of two, maybe two and a half, to about the 39. Watt on the tackle. That's a good play by the guys on the defensive side of the ball. Held him to a gain of two. And that changes the playbook a little bit now for the guy calling plays. Second and eight. Now he's got to probably think about going to the air instead of maybe staying with the ground game. On second down now, it's Henry. And able to get this one all the way up to about the 46-yard line. Good work to pick up seven yards there. That gets him into a third-and-one situation. Playing against a 3-4 front is really challenging for offensive linemen because they can do so many different things. But when you're running the football, if you can handle the nose tackle up front and then maybe a guard can slide up to the second level and block a linebacker, that's when you have success running the football. They'll try to run for the first with Henry. And he's got the first down yardage there as he takes it just across midfield. Let's go! 
Give him the third down conversion, five yards on the play. Well, we tend to give those running backs that are slashers a lot of credit, but how about guys who are maulers? Because that's what you want in short yardage situations, and we just saw that occur right there, didn't we? Vertical, downhill running. On first down, Henry. And he is met quickly in the backfield. Down he goes, folded like a lawn chair. They'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. With his size, he's a tough man to bring down, but they do a nice job there stopping his progress and not allowing him to get back to the line of scrimmage. From the 50, it's Tannehill. And this is caught. It's Brown. And he's going to be taken down with another first down as the stop's made at the Texans' 30. It's a good pick up there of 20 yards. Down, Tennessee. So first and 10 now from the 30. <laughs> to throw is Tannehill. Throwing the out route incomplete. That's Smith. And he'll be out of bounds just inside the 25-yard line. A gain of six there on first. It's a pickup of six. Brings up second and four. Six yards was the pickup on the last completion, so here's second and four. Back to the ground now. It's Henry. And he's going to be close to a first down as the tackle is made at the Texans' 15-yard line. Nine yards on the pickup there, and it keeps the drive alive. I hope we give enough respect to the big guys up front because they have been getting it done on this drive. The holes have been large, and they've been barreling through them, picking up first downs. A solid run by Derrick Henry, and here's another first and ten. From the shotgun now, here's an inside give. Now he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. The tackle made. And when you get good yardage like that on first down, it really does a whole lot of good for your entire offense. But I love the way he's finishing those runs. At the end of things, he's making sure he gets just a little bit extra. The last run got nine. That leaves him with second and a yard. Tannehill. This is caught. And he'll be brought down right on the edge of the goal line at about the one-yard line. Tannehill to his top target, Brown, for a Tennessee first. Let's go. Trying to punch it in with Henry. And no signal yet. I don't think he got in. He didn't. They'll mark him at the one. Call it no gain, and it's going to be second and goal. They're right there at the one. No gain, but don't let that stop you. Line back up and keep going at them. If I'm them, I'm thinking about going at it four straight times. They'll give Henry another shot, and he will score. Touchdown, Titans. Derrick Henry from a yard away, bowling his way in. And the Titans are an extra point away from tying this thing up. No success on first down. He couldn't get any yardage. They give it to him again, and he finds the end zone. Sometimes it just has to be persistence, doesn't it? And you know who else helps with that? Offensive line. After a team's been stuffed, the last thing they want to do is go to a different play call. They want to come back and do it again and show that they can dominate the line of scrimmage. Steven Gossman. This one tied at 14 now as he sends this one away. Taken in at the three. 
And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. And now out comes Houston. There have been points on the board. We just saw back-to-back -back touchdown drives. I love it. I'm high-fiving our statistician, Christian McLeod. And you, you're, you're angry. You're a defensive guy. If you met one of my defensive coordinators, God rest his soul, I'm surprised he isn't in this booth right now wanting to really take you on. This is not football <laughs> the way he sees it. I he wants it. a good old-fashioned kicking game, defense, field position, and we're getting an up and down the field game here. I'll take him. Where's, where's his tombstone? <laughs> <laughs> Boot Hill, baby. It's a pickup of three. Really held him to a short gain on that one, and it almost felt like on that first run, they were trying to just throw the jab at him. So how do you stop a jab? Get closer and smother it, just as they did on that last play. From the 29, Watson, man open. That's Kiki QT complete. And he'll be brought down shy of the 40 at the 38-yard line. Nine yards the pick up there, and it's a first down. Watson to give. This is Johnson. And they bring him to the ground just shy of midfield. Ten yards there. Good enough for a Texan first down. We often give credit to the O-line there. Two tight end formation. Those tight ends block pretty well also. Yeah, and that's one of the most dynamic positions in football now. The tight ends who can block at the line of scrimmage at the point of attack. And they can also get downfield and catch the football. On first and ten, Watson fighting to stay upright. Oh, the ball is out. Watson lost it. And that might be Titan football. It is. He was under duress, surveying, trying to find somebody to get the ball out of his hands. In the meantime, the defense, they took it out of his hands. And when the ball snapped, I know exactly what the defense is thinking. Get a sack. Put him on the ground. But when you can also knock the ball free while doing so, oh, there's the bonus for you as a defender. Derek tackle made by Whitney Merciless. Well, it's hard to have vision as a runner and find a hole when there's nothing but defenders in your way. They stacked that one up really well. But give him credit. Instead of trying to bounce it out and turn it into a big play, which might have turned into a big loss, Kai just took his medicine there and took the one yard. On second and nine. Tannehill, his throw incomplete. The intended receiver that time, Adam Humphreys. And it's third down. The turnover put him in great field position. They don't want to squander it with third down coming up. No, not at all. And you know what else you do? You make your defense mad. Yeah. They got you the football, gave you a great opportunity. You got to cash in and get some points. They'll need to get it to the 30 for a first. This is third down. Dance into his left. And he's going to have the first down yardage as he's down at about the 30-yard line. Well, Tannehill able to take off and pick up the first as well. With nowhere to throw it, decided to scramble, and a nice job, CD got the yardage that he needed. Yeah, and his teammates are certainly going to appreciate that effort, even if his coaches don't, because they would have wanted him to slide and protect himself. But he chose team gain over personal protection. Just beating the play clock now. It's Tannehill. And he will find Davis. That's complete. Give him nine there on the first down completion. Davis. It's a gain of nine. Brings up second and a yard at the Texans' 22-yard line. That last catch short of the marker by just a yard leaves him with a very manageable second and one. Running jet sweep here, Humphreys. And he'll take it down here just shy of the 15 at the 16-yard line. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. Well, we've seen running backs in today's NFL get involved in the passing game. Maybe it's about time more receivers like that get involved in the running game. And that is something we are seeing more and more in this league, no question about it. That wasn't the biggest of gains, but it was enough to get him a first down. And it continues to test the defense. They have to think on every play about who might end up with the ball. And the Titans are going to be set up with a first and goal as a nice run there. Gets him down to the six-yard line. They picked up five yards last time. Now they double it and get ten here. They'll try and run for it with Henry. 
And he'll get this forward only for about a yard as that's going to take us to the two-minute warning. And the ball smack dab on the five-yard line. Here's second and goal. They'll try the air now with Tannehill. Got a man, and it's taken in for a Titans touchdown. To Jonu Smith. Jonu Smith there to make the grab. And the Titans are going to take the lead. There was no going through the progressions on that touchdown pass. Yeah, nor was it necessary. His receiver won that route early, presented himself. No reason to wait. Go ahead and put it on him and score a touchdown. It took them an extra look, but they found out it is a touchdown indeed. The official says Steve this one counts. For the Goskowski point. for the point after. It's up and good, and that'll make the score 21-14. Makes the score Titans 21, Texans 14. Steven Goskowski now after the touchdown. He'll send this one away. Taking it about the one. And he'll be stopped up at the 25. Houston set to take over. And last time, not only the turnover, but that turned into six points. They got to make up for that here. We always hear about empty possessions. But some are worse than others. You can have an empty possession, punt the ball away, get yourself set to play defense. But when you turn it over, it changes momentum. And when they take it downfield and punch it in on you, that's a bad possession all the way around. Yeah, but you're hungry to get back out there, aren't you? You better be, because otherwise, it's going to be a long day for you. And he'll be tackled right on the chalk of the 45. The coverage may be too good that time as he breaks away for 19 with his legs and a first down. Watson trying to get his guys moving. Now we'll play fake, and it's Watson sliding out of the... Oh, the ball is out. Watson lost it. And that might be Titan football. It is. The keeper. A disappointing end of the sequence there. He was starting to turn nothing into something, and then he lost the football. And sometimes things get lost in the transition. And what I mean by that is you go from being a passer to a runner. And at a certain point, once you cross the line of scrimmage, you're strictly a runner now. There's no more downfield threat. Make sure you take care of the football while you're traversing downfield. The Titans going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over a minute to go before halftime. Second down and five. A shotgun snap for Tannehill. This one caught by Davis. And he works it past the 30, almost to the 25. Now Tennessee going to use the second of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 55 seconds to go until halftime. First down. 
And that's going to be incomplete. Too tough to hold on to that one in second down. And I think they'd be well served to take that type of a physical approach against him the rest of the game. He's had his way so far. But on that last one, that worked quite well for the defense. Second and 10 now from the 27. Out of the gun, Tannehill. Being chased out left. All that gets him is just a yard, and now it's third down. Down at the 26. It's a gain of a yard, and it's third down. Here's Tannehill. And able to catch it on the left sideline, but they're going to rule him out of bounds. So it'll be incomplete, certainly one they'd like to have back as it brings up fourth down. On fourth down, here's Steven Goskowski for the Tennessee field goal. From the left hash mark, this a 43-yard attempt. And the 14-year trusty veteran able to knock it through. And the lead works its way up to 10, 24-14. So a capper there to a pretty good first half. And I love the way that they put a chokehold on the clock and pretty much drained everything before they put the field goal on the board as they headed into the half. So just eight ticks remaining here in the first half as they'll kick this one away. Takes it at the seven. And able to take it past the 25 and up to the 28-yard line. Now comes the Houston offense as they get set to take over here. And from this spot in the field with the clock where it's at, you think we're just going to see a knee and that's it? And I think in this situation, that's the proper play. But we do know there's some risk takers out there that may want to take one more shot before the clock runs out. And with time running short here, they'll simply take a knee, and that should do it for half number one. So we reach halftime here in a 10-point game. As we'll get you over to Orlando, where standing by is Jonathan Coachman. He has our EA Sports halftime report. Khalif Raymond now. And a good effort on the return there. Gets him across the 30, up to the 33. And here comes Tennessee as they get set to take the field. They built a good first half lead. Now they have a chance to add on to it. And what I'm thinking is that the offensive staff spent the entire halftime just working with them on, here's what we think they're going to do to attack us in the second half. Nice first half that we've had, guys, but be prepared for some change-ups. We're going to see them when we kick it off in the second half. See how they handle any adjustments that might be made defensively. A gain of three, second down. Give credit to the defense for stringing that play out, and they gave up no cutback angle. You know he was trying to dart through. No place for him to go. A nice job there, only giving up a three-yard gain. Again, it's Henry. He's got the first down and more past midfield. And he's able to get this to the 40-yard line before he's out of bounds. A first down there on a pickup of 25. Well, you certainly have to give a little credit here because they are playing this game now at their pace. This is ball control football, sustained runs, taking their time, and making it work. On first and 10, Tannehill. And this will be incomplete. Physical play on the football there, and it's second down. No coverage bust by the defense here. They did a nice job accounting for everybody, and that led to an incompletion. So second down and 10. Once again, they'll go from the 40. Here's Tannehill. 
It's complete to Brown, right side. And he takes us just a few yards shy of the red zone before going out. It's a first down, his fourth catch of the game after having three in the first half. Tannehill now to throw. Quick hitter here, it's complete. A gain of six there on first. Complete to A.J. Brown. A six-yard pickup brings up second and four at the 17-yard line. From the 17, here's second and four. Look at this, a tight end carry. And he is met at the line of scrimmage, and he goes down right there. No gain on the play that time, and they'll look to convert on what will be a third and four. Third down. Now Tannehill. And he took the contact as he was throwing it, and the ball drops incomplete. They really had a good drive going there, but a nice recovery by the defense these past few downs, able to knock that one away on third down and bring up what I think for the offense, an unexpected fourth down here. And for the second time tonight, this field goal unit comes out here. From the left hash, this from 34. Goskowski's kick is good, and that will stretch the lead up to 13. So put another three on the board. All things considered, a good opening drive to begin the third quarter. And as a defense, the way that this game is going, you're excited to see those points go on the board. Gives them a little bit of leeway to play with when they're out on the field, but they're real excited to see their offense score. Now they get to go out there and do their part. In fact, you know, I sat down with my account, he said I got good news and I got bad news. The good news is you made a lot. I said, what's the bad news? The bad news is you spent more. If you know, you know. If you know about the carport, the trap door's supposed to be awkward. If you know, you know. That's the reason we ball for. Circle round twice for the encore. Goskowski now converted for three. Now he'll kick this one away. And a decent return out to the 27-yard line. So here's the Texans' offense now. They get set to start this third quarter. They trail offense, first time to touch the ball in quarter three, and we'll see what they can do. And I can't wait to see what they have planned because some teams script to start a half. Other teams just go, okay, these are the sequence of plays we want to run. These things worked well for us. And sometimes they throw in that big chunk play right away. Shocker. Try and get after them early and try and create a big play to give themselves some momentum. See what they have up their sleeve. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. Sometimes with the running game, you've just got to stick with it. Look, it's the third quarter. No time to panic. But that also doesn't mean you just do it the same way you've been doing it the entire ball game. Maybe change up some blocking assignments or run a few different plays, but stay with the overall essence of the running game. Here's a throw out wide complete to his running back right side. Complete to Duke Johnson. He's out of bounds behind the line of scrimmage. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Out of the gun, Watson. And this is going to be incomplete. Incomplete on the throwaway. Results in a fourth down. Here's Brian Anger now as he's on to punt for Houston. 46 on his first kick. This one in that neighborhood as well. 
It's a 39-yard punt, three on the return, and it'll be Titan football. The Titans set and ready to go on offense. And they're not going to play this conservative, I don't think. They had the field goal last time, and they're up, but they're looking to put a drive in the end zone. Oh, I agree with you totally. No one goes out on the field and says, all right, let's just settle for three, except in certain situations, trying to ice a game, that sort of deal. Most of the time, it's end zone, and that's what you're thinking, and I believe that's exactly what they're thinking as they begin this one. Yeah. No quarterback ever goes out there saying, hey, let's get three, right? <laughs> not one that I've ever met. It's a pick well, that's not three. a run that's going to make Brings any of the highlight tapes, but seven. they've been moving it well all game on the ground. This is another one that keeps them moving forward. Three yards on that last carry. Here's second and seven. They'll run it again with Henry. And he's dropped right at the 40. Gain of three. Well, praise has to go to the guys in the offensive line because they've had a very nice, productive day running the football. How about that poor defensive line? They've been knocked around the entire game, and while they slowed them down on that run, can they continue to do so because they haven't had much success throughout this ball game? From the gun on third down, Tannehill. And that's caught by Smith. And he goes down, but not before getting this inside the 25. What a play that turns out to be, 36 yards. Just more of the same there, partner. Guys have just been running free in the secondary this entire game. No pass rush, a lot of passes completed. Been an easy day for him. So the big play gets him all the way down to the outskirts of the red zone here for first and 10. They'll run with Henry. And he is brought down at the 22 after a gain of two, and it brings up second down. Taken down at the 22. So where'd all that running room that he had in the first half go? Because it looks like it's drying up a little bit here. Someone made some adjustments, it appears, at least on this drive. The last run got a couple. Here's second and eight. Tannehill. This will be caught inside the 10. And he gets it inside the 10 to the 9. He's up to 70 yards receiving now as that last catch gets him a first down. It is fun to watch the big man work the middle of the field. How about that post route there? Did an excellent job of getting his head around to look the football in and gain significant yardage. Running jet sweep here, Humphreys. And he will maneuver his way down to about the seven. He'll get two out of that run, and it's going to bring up a second and goal. Let's just make this one succinct. Nice job there. All 11 guys on defense diagnosing the jet sweep and putting it down. The line of scrimmage, the seven now on second and goal. Now it's Henry. And they get him down at the one. He had the broken tackle, but ultimately could not get into the end zone. And, Brad, they went to a nickel defense, and that's a surprise this close to the goal line because ordinarily you use the back end of the end zone, the sidelines as extra defenders, and you want bigger people on the field to try and help against the run. Here's Henry. And into the end zone for a Tennessee touchdown. Derrick Henry from a yard away, bowling his way in. And the Titans find a way to stretch their lead. That drive that really increased their cushion felt very military to me. Very precise, methodical, that's one of the words you've taught me. And they just got it done. And slowly but surely now starting to pull away. Under pressure, and the Texans able to get in there for the sack. So tried to throw it in for two points, but the D got home, brought him down. Yeah, got home, which means there had to be good coverage, just had nowhere to go with the ball. Typically, you try and throw quick hitters, quick slants, you know, maybe even a quick fade. Nothing was open. He ends up getting sacked. Goskowski now after the touchdown. He'll send this one away. Now this will make it into the end zone. And he'll just take a seat, and the drive will begin at the 25-yard line. And now out comes Houston. And down on the scoreboard, certainly needing to avoid what happened on the last drive, punting the football. 
sense of urgency has to take over for them here. They know the score. They know the situation. And by the way, the punter no longer exists for their <laughs> offense. That's how they have to treat this drive. They need points. Big time. On first down, it's Watson. And that is incomplete. He couldn't hold on through the contact. Brings up second down. Some might say that he's got looked that in and absorbed the contact, but even at his size, that's a tough throw to hold on to. And he was unable to on that attempt. An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. Throwing again is Watson. And that'll be incomplete. Took a pretty good shot as he tried to pull that one in. Couldn't hang on third down. It's another zone defense. It looks like it's open for possibilities, but they did a nice job patrolling the middle of the field and forcing an incompletion. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. From the gun, here's Watson. He'll look underneath and dump it off to Duke Johnson. And this effort will not get it done. He stopped well short of the first down at the 29. He did his best to just get four out of that, but not enough. And now fourth down. Here's Brian Anger now as he's on to punt for Houston. The Titan offense now working their way back onto the field. At their own 24-yard line. Tannehill and the Titans come up now first and 10 at their own 24. From the gun, he'll set up to throw. That's complete. Middle of the field to Humphreys. And up to the 35 before they're able to knock him down. A gain of 11 to kick off the drive, and it's a quick first down. And a good quarterback facing zone coverage. If he has just a little bit of time to survey the scene, that's what's going to happen. No doubt about it. If there's no pressure, he's going to continue to pick them apart because he'll have all that time to find someone open downfield. He can only cover for so long. So maybe they want to go to a zone blitz scheme, get a little bit more pressure. Remember when Carolina did that against Denver? They lost the game ultimately. They dropped the defensive end out, and he ended up with an interception in that game in Super Bowl 50. Maybe some sort of scheme like that to try and get more pressure at the passer. Second and seven. They'll keep it on the ground. It's Henry. And getting this just shy of midfield, they'll spot it at the 49. 11 yards there, first down. Now, this is an example of breaking down a defense because on a lot of these runs, he's getting past the point of attack, and guess what he's doing? Forcing the secondary guys to have to make a lot of tackles. On first down, it's Tannehill. And his throw's going to be incomplete. Derrick Henry, the intended receiver, out of the backfield. And it's second down. Got out of the pocket. Didn't look like he had anybody open, Charles, so just gets rid of it. And a good play by him. If no one's open and you don't have a running lane that you want to take, make the right choice, get rid of it, live to fight another down. Back to the air. Tannehill on second down. He'll get this one complete to Davis. And he's going to be taken down with another first down as the stop's made at the Texans' 31-yard line. And a good pick up there of 20 yards. So a first and 10 now in Houston territory, down at the 31. This is Henry. Yeah, he'll work free from one tackle, but that's about all as he's taken down. Brandon Dunn in on the stop. They're a pretty good spot right now with a convincing lead. I think this is where they put on the boxing gloves, start to try and pound them into submission. And the offensive line, they've controlled this game. I don't see why that trend would change now. From the 27th, Tannehill. 
throwing middle, but it's incomplete. Corey Davis, the intended receiver, but now it's third down. Well, the secondary's really struggled today, but that's a little bit of a measure of revenge, isn't it? And they just followed the basic rules. See ball, knock ball away. Turns into a nice play. Seventh play of the drive upcoming here on third and six. From the gun, here's Tannehill. He finds Humphreys. And he will have a Titans first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. That one good for seven as this long drive continues and the chains move again. From the red zone now, Tannehill. Over the middle to Smith. And stopped a few yards shy of the goal line at the three. The Titans efficient passing on this drive. There's another first down. One quarter remains here on a Sunday night. We'll return with more after this. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. They'll try and run for it on first and goal. And he will score. Touchdown, Titans. A three-yard touchdown run. And the Titans are able to extend their lead. He keeps carrying the ball into the end zone. And in this one, he's sort of carrying the team on his back. He's the reason that they lead right now. No question about it. And you talk about on his back. He's not minding the extra weight at all, is he? carrying that just as lightly as he does the football. Man, what a great performance so far. Those three touchdowns, it's got him in the lead. Goskowski now after the touchdown. He'll send this one away. This one fielded at the five. And he takes this near the 25. Just a little pass there. Call it the 26. The Texans offense now. They get set to head back on the field here. And with this deficit, you can't have too many more drives like the last drive where you had to punt it away. You know what I would tell my offense right here? The punter doesn't exist, guys. He doesn't even exist. He's not a team anymore. I just cut him, all right? So you've got to go out and create some offense for us here and give us some points. No way does that guy get on the field on this drive. Poor punter. Yeah, he, it, it wasn't his fault. But so, hey, listen, if something got, there's got to be casualties at times. We're trying to win a game. Five yards on the catch there brings up second down. Second and five at the 31-yard line. Watson. He'll drop this down to Johnson underneath. And he's dropped just before the line to gain. Four-yard pickup leaves him with third and one. And a nice gain and a, and a broken tackle along the way. And really, we shouldn't be surprised, should we? That's what runners do, especially the best ones. They break tackles and gain extra yardage. The Texans on third down. 0 for 3 to this point. They could use a conversion. They're up against a third and one situation. 
He can run for it, and he will. When in doubt, do it yourself as he keeps it for three and a first down. Now, how about that play? He took a possible negative and turned it into positive yardage and slid down to avoid taking a big shot. Excellent job getting down and avoiding the big hit. So signs of life in what's been a dormant offense in this second half. Here's first and ten. A shotgun snap for Watson. He, he rifles one that's intercepted. Picked up by the USC man, Adoree Jackson. And this one will be returned to right around the 38-yard line. Over first and 10 at the 38-yard line. They'll run on first down. Henry takes this to the 32, maybe the 31, and then the defense rallying quickly after that broken tackle. Seven yards on the pickup there, and it'll leave him with a second and three. Oh, that's one to warm the hearts of all those old-school football players, isn't it? Tough, hard, gritty run, got behind his pads, bowled over a few people. Look at that one, right up the gut. Saw him through three quarters, no reason to lighten up now. Now this one to his tight end out on the right side. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. A gain of 13. It's a first down. There's a beautiful throw there. And he's been sensational the entire game. Moving it around, spreading it, hitting the right guys. And look, under normal situations, partner, I would expect him to come out of the game now. They've got it in hand. But you and I have been around this league a long time. And every time we ask head coaches about it, hey, why don't you take your quarterback out when the game's in hand? They just kind of give us that look like that's what he's paid to do. So it's a very unusual situation. I'd want him out. They tend to leave him in. I know that every now and then we get in those meetings with coaches, and you almost want to roll your eyes when they talk about staying on schedule when they're moving the football. But would you say a seven-yard run is ahead of schedule? Fourth quarter with the lead, you love that, don't you? No doubt about it, because staying on schedule is trying to get four downs on first down. They did that plus three. And he's able to work it here to the eight-yard line. Four yards on the play, and that leads to the first and goal. Now, that's the way to do it. Hand it to someone with vision and good footwork and add in a little bit of power, and you find a way to pick up first downs. They'll try and run for it on first and goal. And the Titans are going to be set up with a first and goal as good running gets him down to about the four-yard line. Well, they made the play there, and I'll guarantee you their coaches and the other players are screaming at them about their pride. Come on, guys. He's already gotten in three times. You can't give up a fourth one. And on that play, they were able to make the stop. And you knew they were going to go to him to try to get that fourth. And why wouldn't they? It's not just getting the fourth. He's the hot hand, so to speak, right? The hot feet in this situation and he knows how to find the end zone that time he just didn't get there only three yards there on the completion that'll lead to a third and goal got to give credit where it's due really nice defense on that play the pitch and catch was successful but not any run after it well, the ball mere inches from the white line on third and goal On third down, Henry. And he will take this one in for a Titans touchdown. Touchdown. Derrick Henry taking it in. And this offense continues to pour it on. And that rushing touchdown is fourth, puts him just one shy of the NFL record in a single game. And we all know he would love to get to that record and even beyond it. But he doesn't need to in order to impress in this one, does he? What a, what a performance. What an absolute great game that he's had here in this one. Steven Goskowski now after the touchdown. He'll send this one away. Looking up into the roof and he muffs it. It's loose. 
And he brings us out past the 20 to the 24. Heading out as the Texans offense as they get set to take over here. And following the interception, just any interception, are you a little bit more cautious when you start that next drive or no? You just throw that out the window. I think you are. I don't think that there's any way you can run back out there and go, ah, totally didn't affect me. Let's just go ahead and be loose with the football again. You're going to take care of it, but you have to be careful about being too cautious because now you can't run any offense at all. Still want to attack. We'll see how they attack them here. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. He'll get eight on the scramble there. It'll be second and a couple. Well, he's proven real effective running the football. No one open, don't force it. Just get what you can, and that's what he's done very well in this game. Boy, and now they can't even get a playoff. So that'll back him up five. So the delay of game penalty backs him up. It's now second and seven. Hey, defense, let's go. Pick it up, D. 53 to Operating from the gun. Watson. Open man. The tight end fouls. Well, I'll call it a three-yard gain, and that'll make it third down. I think it's okay there. They didn't get a whole lot on that play, but it's nice to have a safety valve that's built like this guy. Big target, guy you can spot pretty easily. Put it on him when your other targets aren't open. The Texans on third down. They've only converted once in four tries. This is third and four. Let's go one more. Boy, and now they can't even get a playoff. He didn't seem in a rush. I guess they just didn't know where the play clock was. I think you're right about that because there was no hurried movements there, right? No up-tempo at all. Clock just ran out. I think he was as surprised as maybe his bench was. Instead of a third and four, now they have to manage a third and nine after the delay of game. From the gun, Watson. Yeah, this is caught, but I don't think he stayed in bounds. No, he didn't. It's incomplete. The throw took him past the boundary, and it's fourth. Another pass attempt, another incompletion. You, you figure defensively, you're in the fourth quarter here. You've held a team under 100 yards passing. You've done your job. Especially in today's NFL, which is truly a pass-first league. They will indeed snap it to Watson. Got an open man. It's QT. And he takes this up to the 40-yard line before being corralled. So no reason not to try it there, and they do indeed convert on fourth. Felt compelled to go for it there on fourth down, trailing in the fourth quarter. They got it done. And there's always a lot of pressure on a fourth down call. Doesn't matter the distance. You still have to get it done, as you noted, and they did. Now a first down throw, Watson, and his throw here is incomplete. Johnson, the intended target, that'll bring up second down. Fair to say, hasn't been his best game throwing the football, but also not getting a lot of help out there either. Yeah, you kind of, you nailed it pretty well, you know. He's got to throw it better, got to get more help. Obviously one that should have been caught. They've got to find a way to bring those, those two elements together so they can make some progress in this one. Now this one complete downfield on the left side. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Titans' 45-yard line. Texans passing game in rhythm right now, picking up another first. So signs of life in what's been a dormant offense in this second half. Here's first and ten. Again, it's Watson. He's got his tight end. It's Fells. And he'll get this one down near the 20-yard line, just shy of the 20. Call that a very strong gain of 24. Well, this game is certainly pretty well over. They go ahead and mark it in the win column. But as a defense, they don't want to get so soft now that everybody just throws the ball all over the place against them, gets big yardage, and puts points on the board. They have pride, too, on that side of the ball. 
And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. Brandon Cooks, the receiver he was going after. And that'll bring up second down. Another pass attempt, another incompletion, and they're just a little over 100 yards passing here in this game, so defensively, pretty good job. Definitely, because they were never really able to get the ball in the hands of their playmakers. So a lot of credit to the defensive game plan, and especially the execution. On second down, Johnson. And this will be a gain of six when it's all said and done. Down to the 15 from the 21. Good, strong run against the 3-4 set. And that 3-4, you've got to have your guys up front eat up a lot of blocks. The guy playing over the center that knows, he usually has to take on double teams. But when you're able to successfully move him, you're often able to get some yardage. And that's when linebackers have to clean up and make tackles. Again, it's Johnson. And he will be very close to a first down, but I see the closed fist of the referee, and that means fourth down. Call it a four-yard pickup, but it leaves him a few inches short here on fourth down. All right, they're going to try and keep hope alive here on fourth down. They're going for it. They run, it's Johnson, and he gets the first down yardage he needs before he's brought down at the six. But no reason not to try it there, and they do indeed convert on fourth. Thought they might throw the football with a little chunk that they had remaining on fourth down, but they ran it, they got it. And the reason they were able to get it done, he ran that play with conviction, didn't he? Understood he would get a little bit of help from his friends up front, but it was really on him to go ahead and make the power move and get it done, and that he did. No gain on the play that time, but it sets up second and goal. I would think as a play call, you want to look for some quick hitters to your tight end, any type of a route to replace where that linebacker was, because when you saw the speed with which he reacted and stopped that play, maybe use that speed against him in the future. On second and goal, Watson, his pass caught at the four, and he's able to get it down to the two-yard line. That time the completion goes for four yards and we're set up with a third and goal. I'm wondering if the same thing went through your mind as mine. When I see a big man like that make a catch, all I keep thinking to myself is, big man with football. <laughs> Look out, everyone. He may not juke you a whole lot, right? He may not run past you because of his size. You talk about a guy weighing in the 270 range. But boy, once he gets his mitts on the ball, he's going to be tough to bring down. About a half yard from the end zone, third and goal. Operating from the gun, Watson. And this is caught. Well, they get one back. Picking up the late touchdown here, but still down big. He has his two scores, but still a sizable deficit in this game. Do you have him in fantasy football this week? Unfortunately, no. Uh, it's too bad, right? That would have been big points. But he is really trying to rally his team as best he can. Things are not going as well the rest of the way for them. That's why they're down with this deficit. He might need to score a couple more times to give them a chance. They had to go to the monitor, get an extra look. That's what the technology is for. And this touchdown will count. And that'll cut the lead down to 26. Makes the score Titans 47, Texans 21. Touchdown, here's Fairbairn now to kick it away. Taken in the end zone. And it'll come out to the 25 as Raymond will elect not to bring it out. The Titans now just about ready to take over. And a few kneel downs should just about do it. Now defensively, they do have all three timeouts, but very little reason to use them at this point. Thank <laughs> you. 
They'll try and choose some clock with Henry. And not much to speak of. Call it a one-yard gain up to the 26. Just a yard on the pick up there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. That's it. That's what you want. Straight ahead, positive gain. Just keep that clock ticking. The last play got just a yard. Here's second and nine from the 26. They'll keep it on the ground. It's Henry. They follow up the first down one yard run with a minimal gain of two. Down at the 28 yard line. It's a gain of two yards. And it's third down. The Texans here on third down, putting an extra defender in the secondary. So this will be accepted as it moves the offense backwards. further for third and long. After the penalty, it's Henry. And he'll be stopped at the 27-yard line, well short of the first down marker. Consecutive gains of one, two, and now three yards brings up fourth down. If you're looking for glory, looking to get your name in the headlines, you do not want to play nose tackle. But how about what we just saw there? The ability to hold people up, take on extra blocks, and actually slip them and make a tackle on that play. That's big time. On is Kern, the punter, to send this one away. Fair catch called for and taken right near the 30-yard line. Tonight's a big offensive explosion helped leading them to victory. And the defensive guys, they're just saying, hey, put those points up every week. We'll just keep winning. They will gratefully accept them, won't they? It makes their job that much easier when they're scoring that many points. Allows them to play with a totally different style and a different flow. So that'll do it for us, for my partner, Charles Davis, and all the hardworking men and women on our crew. I'm Brandon Gaunt. You've been watching the NFL right here on EA Sports. From Houston, good night, everybody.